In today's reading from St. Peter's Epistle, there's a line that's very important. He says, always be ready to give a reason for your hope. Always be ready to give a reason for your hope. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, do we have hope? Do we have a hope based on the promises of Jesus Christ? And is that hope rooted so strongly within us that we never question it, that we call forth that hope, that we share it with other people? We sometimes feel very uncomfortable sharing our faith with others. But in fact, that's an essential task of the Christian, to share what we believe is true, to share it without any embarrassment or any shame. Always have a, re have a willingness to share the reason for your hope. So you begin to ask yourself now, what is my reason for hope? What do I believe and why do I believe it? Is it rooted in the resurrection? Is it rooted in the ascension? Is it rooted in the crucifixion? Is it rooted on the words and teaching of Jesus? What gives me a reason to believe that what this man said is true and transforms not only me, but all the world? When we're prepared to look at that honestly, we're prepared to see who we are and who we have been called to be. We are called to be evangelists. We are called to share the good news. Evangelist means a good message. Uh, angel, from the word evangelist, comes from that word, means simply a message or a messenger. Evangelos means a good message. How often that what we have to say is just complaints. Complaints about our health, complaints about family members, complaints about taxes, complaints about the pandemic that's going on. We just t find time for complaints and not to deliver a good message. When we've run into someone and sat down and talked with them over a cup of coffee and they leave, do they leave uplifted or do they leave downcast? Do we have a reason for hope? That's a critical message that Christians must have. Because if we say we believe in the promises of Jesus Christ, those promises have to affect the way we live our lives. It has to affect what we believe about ourselves and others. And that knowing of what we are and what we are called to be is the reason for our hope. And that's what we celebrate. That's why when St. Peter says, to the apostles, always be ready to give a reason for your hope. He's telling people, be prepared. When people say to you, what do you believe in? Why do you believe it? How does that make your life any better? You should know that and be able to answer it in a simple two or three declarative sentences based on the promises of Jesus Christ, his promise of life eternal his promise of resurrection, his promise of the love that is called to transform ourselves and the whole world. That's the reason for our hope, that love is alive, that no matter how bad things may be, ultimately things will end in the good. Why? Because God has said so. God has given us that message of hope and that message of hope transforms us and the world. I just wanted to remind you that on Ascension Thursday, I will be celebrating a Mass which will be videocast. I'll probably do it on Wednesday evening or Thursday morning, but it'll be broadcast on Thursday. It will be on, the, um, on our website.